Who is the most stubborn? Who dresses better? Who is the better cook? Who is the better driver? Who has been in more car accidents? Who initiated the first kiss? Who is the bigger baby when sick? Who is the most embarrassing? Who is the better half? Twenty-six-year-old Shayna Donahue loved posting natural hair videos on YouTube. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shayna, aka Nap Queen, aka Mercury Venus Me, and I'm here today to share with you guys the journey that I've been on for almost two years. It'll be two years in July. She took her thousands of followers along with her on her natural hair journey and loved to help others maintain healthy natural hair. Shayna was also a childhood nutrition educator who worked in underserved communities by providing nutrition education, gardening education, and advocating for sustainable healthy local food in these areas. I pretty much taught kids about how to grow food and why eating fruits and vegetables is important, different topics on nutrition education and food education and food literacy and food access and just different topics centered around food. She had big dreams of changing the way her community looked at overall health. Sadly, Shayna's life would be cut tragically short when her high school sweetheart, someone she grew up with, would stab her to death. Her murder would devastate and shock all of those who knew and loved Shayna. How could someone who was supposed to love her take her life in such a brutal way? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Washington, D.C. Beautiful 26-year-old Shayna Donahue loved posting natural hair videos on YouTube. She had her own YouTube channel, Nap Queen, where she posted many videos about maintaining and growing healthy natural hair and was an inspiration to her more than 21,000 followers. Shayna Donahue, a native of Washington, D.C., also had a passion for educating children about nutrition. She put this passion into action by studying nutrition and dietetics at the University of the District of Columbia, working with Food Corps in 2015, and becoming a member of the Fresh Farm family in 2016. She would speak to students in the district's public schools about nutrition. Shayna worked as a nutritionist in primary schools in Ward 6, 7, and 8, teaching children about eating healthy. It was her passion to give back to the community that she grew up in. Shayna taught students across all grade levels how to cook and eat nutritious foods. She shared with them the joys of growing and harvesting in a garden. Growing up, she witnessed a lot of her family experience several diet-related diseases and felt that being able to be in schools, teach children nutrition education, and teach children things that she was not taught when she was in school was a rewarding opportunity. Shayna was in a relationship with Daniel Fleetwood. They were high school sweethearts. They attended Oxon Hill High School and grew up together. He was even there to assist her with moving into her dorm as she departed for college in South Carolina on a basketball scholarship. The two were really close, but would eventually break up. After three years apart, they would get back together. She posted about the relationship on her Twitter. No one's gonna love me like how my ex-fiancé loves me. I think we're back together after three years, is my life really this simple? He's the most forgivable man I know, I'm the most forgivable woman he knows. There's never any hate between us even when there are bad decisions. Shayna would allow Daniel to move in with her. A decision that would soon prove to be fatal. A neighbor who went to check on Shayna early on Thursday morning discovered her body. Another neighbor reported hearing a loud fight coming from her apartment the previous night, which prompted them to call 911. When the police came, they discovered a horrifying scene. Shayna's body was found next to a glass table in the fetal position. She was suffering from stab wounds to her neck, stomach, right bicep, right thigh, hip, and shoulder blade. Her right wrist had bite marks on it. Blood was found on the door, the walls, on a knife, and a pair of scissors. When police arrived, Daniel entered the apartment wearing blood-stained clothing and requested to speak to Shayna, assuring them that afterwards he could explain everything. Daniel admitted to police that on the previous evening, May 28, 2020, he and Shayna had a fight and that he had left the apartment. 
Daniel was taken to police headquarters by homicide investigators where he consented to an interview. He explained that when he and Shayna got into a shouting match and she ordered him to leave the apartment. He said they began pushing each other. Then Fleetwood told the detectives that Shayna stabbed him first with a pair of scissors and that he grabbed the scissors out of her hands and defended himself. She tried to get me really angry on purpose and I don't know why, Daniel told investigators. It's like a thing all women have. Yeah, she was trying to get me upset. A man has to die to be truly in love. I never had this done before. I think it's a devilish type thing. It's hard to explain. I can see it. When you are in a relationship with a girl, it's like a psych thing. He said. Fleetwood said that the two began stabbing each other and that she stopped. But he continued. It was like something in me, like the demon in me wanted to kill, and once I killed her I came alive, he told detectives. Daniel admitted to authorities that he used marijuana and drank alcohol prior to the altercation. Daniel's lawyer argued that he acted in self-defense. He pointed out that Daniel had no past arrests or convictions and was justified in acting in self-defense, therefore he should be let go. This was a domestic situation that clearly really got out of hand, he said. The judge decided that Daniel would remain in the D.C. jail until his next hearing. Daniel Fleetwood was charged with first-degree murder while armed in connection to the death of Shayna Donahue. Years later, the trial is still pending. Jennifer Mampara, Shayna's supervisor at her job at Fresh Farm and a friend to Shayna, said that Shayna had previously complained to co-workers about Daniel abusing her. Colleagues were shocked to learn that Shayna allowed Daniel to move into her apartment since she had already called off their engagement. Nobody really knows what happened in that apartment the night that Shayna died, but the two people that were there at the time, and unfortunately, Shayna is not here to tell her side of the story. What happened to Shayna was a tragedy. I'm sure she never imagined that the person she loved so deeply and thought loved her could ever take her life. She was a beautiful kind-hearted person that was loved by many and was committed to helping others. She will be remembered for her love of the young people she worked with, her profound enthusiasm, her support for the neighborhood where she grew up, and her efforts to make people stronger and healthier. She posted on her Twitter, if people remember me for anything, they'll remember me for being a genuinely kind person. My condolences to Shayna's family and friends. She didn't deserve what happened to her. May you continue to heal. I want to thank everyone who continued to reach out to me and send me supportive messages and, you know, just sent me love. I really, really can't put into words how much that meant to me. And really, that's why I would say I think YouTube is such a good platform because so many people without hesitation just support and love and feel just genuine good feelings from watching people's content so if my content gave you genuine good feelings which it did a lot of people and a lot of people reached out to me i just want to thank you guys for reaching out to me and sharing yourself with me because despite the fact that i'm not sure whether or not i want to be a youtuber i I am sure that I love people who love love and I am super grateful for all of the positive messages and support that was sent my direction so I just wanted to send a quick thank you. Thank you guys so much for clicking my video and tuning into my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.